Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a look at three budget-friendly synthetic wigs. These are from Lemon Wigs. I have reviewed one of their wigs already and it was a huge hit. It was a beautiful long wig. I actually also did a tutorial video with that one showing how you can cut bangs into a wig. Well, I have been in contact with Lemon Wigs since then and I asked if they'd be willing to send me some more of their wigs so that I could show them to all of you so that if you are on the hunt for a super, super cheap, like under $30 budget friendly wig, you'll have the information you need to know if any of these are a good choice for you. So if you want to know more about these, so I've got this one, which is a pink ombre. I've got this one, which is a beautiful copper, and I have this one, which is uh, kind of a light, medium light brown. They're all the same, though, with this type of a parting space and bangs. So if you want to know more, stick around. I'll give you guys an initial sense of these. They all do need some work to make them realistic. I will talk about that with you. And if there's interest, I'll do a future video showing you how to work with them to make them look good. So let's go. So one of the great things about budget friendly wigs is their price point. Um, if you want, maybe you just want to wear wigs for fashion. Have, finding cheap wigs for fashion, if you don't really care that they actually look like wigs, maybe you do cosplay or you want it for a, a costume of some sort, it's so great to have a cheap option for that. But sometimes we're on such tight budgets that we really can't can hardly justify the expense of a wig, much less an expensive one. And if you have thinning hair and you're trying to find something to disguise your hair, but you don't have a lot of money, budget-friendly wigs could be an option, but I want to caution you. It's really uh, tricky to find budget-friendly wigs that look super realistic. They, you know, they don't have the most realistic cap features. You know, the fibers aren't as realistic or as long living as some of the more expensive wigs. And so while 20, 30, $40 may seem like, uh, gosh, I can afford that, it's really a waste of money if you get a wig that doesn't look good, which is why I'm super excited to have discovered lemon wigs and why I'm so grateful that they're willing to send me their pieces to try because at least now you can see them before you purchase them. So this style that I have on is, let me just take off the cap. First of all, these run really big, so they're definitely big head friendly. And I think they'll be really big on someone with a petite head. Now, there are, there are videos out there showing you how to make wig caps smaller by cutting a few wefts and then sewing the other ones together or just sewing a couple of wefts together if you don't want to cut anything out. I have shared some of those videos on my community page here on YouTube because I've never personally done this, but I have shared some videos with you from people that I really trust. So if you have a petite head and you would love to take advantage of budget-friendly wigs, my experience so far with them is they tend to run a little big and you'll want to learn how to do that so that you will have the option. So these are very basic caps. You've got no lace front. There isn't, technically there is not a mono part of any type. What they have is this little section here, you can feel it. They have like a little kind of plastic piece that mimics part and it's, somewhat realistic. I mean, it's quite light for most of us. We don't have scalps this light. You can just put some makeup on that, some, you know, eyebrow pow powder, eyeshadow powder. You could color that in if you have the right color marker. So you can absolutely change that. One of the challenges though with this, and it's really evident in another one of these pieces that I'm going to show you, is it can be a little stiff and bulky right there. It can actually make it sort of pop up and look somewhat unrealistic. I'm going to attempt to work with these with a hot comb like this. Uh, this gets hot and I'm going to attempt to work with them and see if I can flatten that area out a little bit more and make it look a little more realistic. But these are heat friendly pieces so you can take heat to them. So you could use a hot comb, a hot airbrush, you can use steam, you could use a brush and a hair dryer. Um, and so when I say that these all require some work, 
that is one of the things I'm talking about is that now this one is actually laying a lot better than the other one I'm in the brown one um, I just actually got the red one so I'll have to it'll kind of get an out of the box with me I've really not done anything with it um, I filmed an out of the box for Instagram but I didn't do anything to it. So we'll look at that one together. Mainly I want you to see the style, I want you to see the colors, and I want you to know what to expect if you get them, what kind of work you're probably gonna to have to do. So one of the things you're gonna probably have to do is deal with the bangs. They're very long on me. So if I wear the wig where it should be on my hairline, these bangs are far too long. So they're going to have to be trimmed up. Now. I will link the video I did with their other wig, the long wig, where I show you how to cut bangs into a wig. Basically, this is going to be easier than that because it already has bangs. So all you're having to do is trim them up to fit your measurements so that they don't poke you in the eye. And so with a bang like this, a, a razor comb like this, it's not technically a comb, but it sort of looks like a razor comb. It's a razor with a handle would be so perfect because I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna refer you to that other video, but I'm just gonna sort of demonstrate because all you have to do is you just take this and you sort of razor off pieces until it's the right length. Now you can use a scissors, whatever you are comfortable using, but for people who aren't super comfortable styling hair, that thing is a lifesaver for me. So I highly recommend it. So the things on this piece that I think need to happen, the bangs are gonna to need to be dealt with. This actually doesn't look too bad. There is just a little bit of a bump there. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do in another video, not this one, this one's just really to show you these pieces, is if I take a hot comb like this and I sort of press down on it and I warm up this area, if I'm hoping that I might be able to get it to flatten out, but I'll exp experiment with that and I'll let you guys know in a future video. So this one is the pink ombre. It's darling. I've always wanted a pink wig, so I'm super excited to finally have one. The fibers are somewhat, they're soft and silky. They're not super realistic. They, I mean, let me see, how do I explain this? They look really good. When I look in the mirror, when I look at this, it looks really good. They're not super shiny at all. So in that sense, I think it does look realistic and I think it would pass muster. Um, obviously with this color, it might be questionable, but they're they're just, they're a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker and denier than a lot of your higher end synthetic wigs. They are a little rough. I would say they're not like super Barbie doll hair feeling, but they're definitely not as realistic as a higher end. But guys, let's think about this. These are under $30. You really can't expect a ton out of a wig like this. Um, but if you, I mean, if you were just going somewhere and nobody's going to be touching your hair, I really think that if you can get the bangs right and this whole top section right, it's going to look pretty realistic. It's very comfortable. Like I said, this does run a little big, so you'll have to cinch it in some. Um, I get really good coverage. You can see my bio hair here, but only because it's growing out. Um, I get really good coverage overall. The ear tabs come into the perfect place on me. Um, they're definitely tuckable. The fibers are a little bit stiff, so when you go to try to tuck them, they kind of want to bounce back. That's sort of the cheaper version of synthetic fibers that you're dealing with. Um, it is wefted and no permatease, so this does not have any like really unrealistic poof except for if you consider a little bit of a bump here because of that plastic piece under there. Um, it's really not super poofy and I think it's really, really cute. Let me try on the brown one for you guys. The brown one, I am having a bit more of a challenge with this one. Let me grab my comb. I just dropped it. Because, um, because the top doesn't lay super realistic. Now, I will tell you that these do tangle some. They're not awful because they're not a super long length, but you will definitely want to comb through them regularly. So there you can see that top on there. And another thing I wanna point out about these, they're, they're heavy for the length. I weighed these because in my last video with the longer one, someone pointed out how heavy they are and hers was a oh gosh like an ounce and a half heavier than mine let me turn my fan on you guys 
it's really warm in this bathroom, but I needed to be in here because I have to be able to see in my mirror. Um, another thing about these, they do shed. Can you kind of see? Uh, which I find to be very, very common on uh, budget-friendly, cheaper synthetic wigs. Um, I think it's not unreasonable. It's not a lot of hair that I feel like I'm suddenly not going to have any hair on this wig, but they do shed. So don't be surprised when you see that, especially if you're not used to uh, budget-friendly wigs. All right, so here's the brown one. Sorry, I lingered. I was letting that fan blow on me and cool me off. Um, so my issues with this one, it fits me really the same as that. I would say they run, you know, their their average average large is how I would classify them. Room to grow. If you want to wear a wig cap or a wig grip underneath, you definitely have room for that. The challenges that I'm having with this one are this part right here seems to want to stick up more. It's kind of pointy. So I'm gonna work with that and see what I can do to get that either lift up the hair around it or get that to lay more flat. The bangs, again, too long for me, but that's okay. That's a really easy fix. And because these are heat friendly, if you trim up the bangs and then they're not laying right for you, you can take a hot airbrush to them and get them redirected the way that you want them. Watch that other video of mine. I show you all of that. So if you're new to this, go watch that. I'll link it in the description. Um, the other challenge I'm having with this one is the color. It's very flat. There's no highlights at all in this color. It's a, just a really basic, almost it's neutral. It's a light brown, but it's almost a grayish brown. Now it's not gray, but it's almost like a grayish brown. And so it's really an interesting color. I personally think it would look a little more realistic if it had some highlights or low lights or something. So what I would do with this one is I would actually take a marker to it, a furniture marker, a Copic marker in maybe a dark brown color. Um, and I would just do a little bit of gentle rooting and some low lights on it. I have a video where I show you how to do that on a regular synthetic wig, which I will link below. But that to me is just my personal preference. You might not feel that way about this, but the color is very neutral, kind of flat, muted, light brown. No, nothing really dynamic in it. Most people's hair has some dimension to it. Uh, so that's the one thing I think that's missing with this one. So let me try the red one on for you guys so we can get moving here. I still even have the tag on this one. I will put in the description a link to each of these pieces so that you can go find them because they don't have like names, like like a lot of um, higher end synthetic and the colors, they don't give you like color codes or specific color names. So that's a struggle. All right, let me grab my comb. Like I said, all I did with this one was an unboxing, and there is a couple of things that I noticed about it that I will talk about. Well, let me comb it through for you guys. I can feel this one is shedding as well because I can feel it as I'm combing it. See that hair there? Just want you guys to be have realistic expectations of budget wigs. All right, so again, we've got the bangs that are too long for me, um, and you really can't not wear these with bangs. There's no type of lace front to make it look realistic. So the bangs are kind of necessary. Which is actually why I cut bangs in the other one too, because it didn't have a lace front. So, um, one thing I'm noticing about this one, these curls, I mean, just all of the curls on this one aren't quite as nice of a wave as on the other ones. They're just Maybe there's some cold crimping going on from living in the box, but this is not quite doing it for me. This one has a big bump right here. It's kind of flat, so it just really looks lopsided. So if you were to get one that's like this, because again, you could, they could get cold crimping in them from living in the box, then you're gonna want to take a hot airbrush to it, take maybe a hairdryer to it and a round brush, um, something to sort of 
organize the curls a little bit. If you take heat to this, it's going to straighten it some. So just be aware of that. You can recurl it. So if you wanted to take heat to it and sort of straighten it out and then put more curl in it, you could. But this one's just a little bit of a challenge. Now, because these other ones look so, I mean, I think the wave pattern on these is great. It's possible that this one is just an anomaly. One thing you could consider doing is sending it back and getting another one. If you order off of Amazon, I believe all of these have free returns if you have Prime. So you can just send it back for free and then order another one. And, and I, I'm guessing the curl pattern will be a little bit different. But just kind of keep that in mind when you buy budget-friendly wigs. Those could be some of the challenges that you face with them. Otherwise, for for under $30, I think if you are willing to work with your wigs, if you are want to learn how to cut bangs or you're comfortable doing that, if you um, want to learn how to take heat to a wig or are comfortable doing that, I think these could be great options for something fun, for practicing. Um, you know, if you can't really get this top section to lay perfect, hold on, I'm going to grab something and test something out for you guys. Okay, one thing you could do um, is wear a bandana with it, or you could wear a hat with it. You could, there's some things you could do if you can't quite get the bangs and the top to lay right, or you're not ready to really do any work on it. If this is a look that you go for sometimes, you can just take like a regular bandana and tie it around. Now this one, is the the challenge here are the is the kind of the curl pattern on this one so that one is going to need to be dealt with and maybe i should have done this with one of the ones with a better curl pattern but you can throw a bandana around and now you've just handled that whole top section but you've got hair so that is something you can do that with a hat let me grab one of these that has a little bit of a nicer curl pattern on the bottom so that you can see how cute that would actually be. I have such a tiny, tiny bathroom and a little tiny sink that I dropped my comb again, this time behind the toilet. So I won't be combing this one out for you guys, but I think that's okay. So basically, oops, hold on. I gotta get these bangs shifted to this side. I love this one, you guys, of the three of these, this one, the curl pattern, the way it lays on top, the color, all of it. So beautiful. I think this one requires the least amount of intervention. But if you're going to be a budget wig wearer, you're going to just have to learn how to do some things with them. I think you should anyway, even with expensive wigs, but especially budget friendly wigs. There. See that curl pattern is just a little bit better. So I think there's some things you can do if you find that maybe yours needs a little bit more intervention and you're not ready for that yet. Super cute. So these are again, lemon wigs, budget friendly wigs. I will put links in the description to them on Amazon for you guys. And let me know if you have questions. They actually did send me some other wigs. So I'll be showing you some of their other ones as well. Um, different styles than these. So if you're looking for something maybe without a bang, they sent me a couple more that don't have a bang and that have a teeny tiny lace front. So I'll be working with those and I'll bring those to you as soon as I can. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'll keep trying to find great things to bring you. Good deals, budget friendly, human hair. I just want to cover the gamut because I know we're all in such different places. So stay tuned for more fun stuff to come. I'll talk to you guys soon.